Today we'll have a look at an interesting pen. I think it's interesting. Uh, it's this pen. Pentel Tradio, or, or Tradio, or Tradio, I, I don't know. Uh, in any case, this pen was sent to me by De Rose, one of my new sponsors, and I mentioned that in particular because not only is it very generous of him to send this pen, but I'll give it away, and if you want it, and you enter the giveaway, and you don't win, you can still get it. You go to the website of De Rose, I'll put a link in the description, you can buy it, and if you actually click the banner on my website for DeRose, then you're taken to a special page on the DeRose website, and you'll get a discount code for 15% off, which is not bad, I would say. Okay, let's look at the Pentel Tradio. Now, the Tradio I have reviewed before, but that was a Tradio with a very special nib, very strange, almost like a sort of like a plastic, like a felt tip pen, it was very odd. But this Tradio has an actual nib, a is it the Tradio? Apparently. Oh, someone says apparently it's the Tradio. Well, I'm going to go with Tradio. The, this Tradio has an actual metal nib. And I find that fascinating because I didn't know Pentel even made that. So, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen and tell you what I like about it, what I don't like about it. And then I'll do a writing sample. Let's start. Very top of the pen, there's nothing. Then there is the clip. The clip is plastic, so that means you can break it off, have to be a little careful, but it does have some spring to it. Uh, and there you can see it says Tradio. What else does it say? Tradio TRF Pentel. All right. And then you have that cute little window in the cap. I'm trying to align it. There you go. And there you have a, and you can see the nib. That's kind of cute. All right. There you have the the barcode, you never know, and then you have a sort of a center band except it's not really on the cap, and then you have the, the barrel that ends in a, a slightly tapered bit, which of course is for posting the pen. So the cap, it, it pulls off, and you can post that really securely, which is quite nice. Okay, then we have the section. The section is very long. You have a little ridge there. I think that is sort of the cap clicks in place um, and they have the nib. It's a, uh, it looks like it's a, well it looks, uh, it's still hard to say. It's a bit big for a number five nib, but I I, I would say it's number five. Uh, it has a, a feed, of course, and you can unscrew the barrel and you have a, a very interesting looking cartridge, which I'm going to try and very carefully remove. I have never seen a cartridge like this. Uh, on the on this end it really looks like a standard international so that's great but then there is this extra nipple which I have not seen before. I wonder if that is so that it kind of fits in the barrel but if I do this it doesn't seem to click into anything. I don't know if they did that just so it's a little longer so it won't fall out. Um, that looks like it could be the case, but in any way, I, 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 it works. Came with one of these cartridges, and I'm guessing I haven't tried a converter, but it looks like Standard International, so you can probably put a converter in if you really want to. The section, as I said, is is really quite long. I mean, if you look at the the whole thing in perspective, you can see it's a it's a big section, tapers down, and uh, well, you end up you don't really need the background anymore. You end up with a fairly large pen, I would say. And especially when you post it, it becomes a good-sized pen. Now, the nice thing about having a long section is that I like to hold my pens up a little bit more highly, then you can do that. And then you do feel that ridge, that's why I would ideally hold it, so I hold it back a little bit more, but then it, it does work. And especially when you post it, it's still big enough, but even if you don't, it's, it's actually quite big. So it's not a, a pocket pen. Never steel. Nib writes. I was pleasantly surprised by the nib. Um, I'm transitioning into what I like and what I don't like. With pens of this price, the pen costs 18.95 euros, so a little under 20 euros. That is not ultra cheap, but of course, by no means is it a super expensive pen as far as fountain pen prices go. You never really know what to expect. 
and I have used some inexpensive pens that rolled really really nicely I've also used some expensive pens that rolled really really not so nicely and pretty much anything in between I was pleasantly surprised by the nib it's smooth it writes well I found it a little dry but I think that's the ink it's a nondescript uh, royal blue so with another ink it would probably flow a bit more wetly I think but it's not bad it's really not a bad writer so I like that uh, the nib does say Iridium Point it does say Pentel uh, but as you can see Iridium Point is not necessarily a bad thing in this case it works so I like that to be honest I kind of like the overall looks of the pen yes it's not a super expensive extremely fancy pen body and you can see you can tell the line of the injection molding is present on the cap you can see that uh, you, you can feel it's light it feels plasticky but I don't mind the looks and what I really like is that feature where you can see the nib is it useful not really there is no point whatsoever in having a little window that makes you show the nib in fact if anything a little ink window might have been more useful but it's different and I like it so that's good I also like the posting very secure nice larger pen but not very heavy because it's all plastic so it doesn't get top heavy and weigh itself down things I don't like about it so much well that plasticky thing is a bit of a a bit of a bother I would say it, it, it feels cheaper it feels cheaper and there's no way around it uh, I have seen worse it doesn't feel like the type of plastic that will crack when you just look at it but it is very plasticky and something like a plastic clip often a bad sign because give me 10 seconds with this and the nib uh, the, sorry and the clip will come off it, it's that simple so you have to be a bit careful with that but it's the way it is and you do buy a 20 dollar sorry 20 euro pen um, so you also can't expect the the, the 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 manufacturing standards of a 500 euro pen I think it's cute I like it I think it works uh, the balance is nice it writes well and that's I mean that's amazing at, at the price you, you get a nib that writes well requires no tuning requires nothing out of the box it just works well I think it's very nice so there you have it I thank Alexander from De Rose for sending me one I appreciate it um, this pen will be given away giveaway is right here right now you leave a comment and because the shop is called De Rose you leave a comment that describes what you like so much about roses. You do that and 72 hours after uploading the video I will draw a random winner and that's it. You win the pen, you get it, it's sent to you. I'm sorry I punctured the cartridge um, but we'll, we'll see what we can do about that. What we need to see next, of course, how the pen writes, that's coming up now on the website, sbrebrown.com, will be high resolution pictures, as always taken by the inimitable gourmet pens. Uh, there will also be uh, measurements of the pen. And of course, there is that banner for a 15% discount on whatever you want to buy from De Rose. Of course, this could be anything else except for Mont Blanc. Mont Blanc doesn't like discount codes, so it won't work there. But apart from that, 15% discount. And that's quite a lot. Think about buying an expensive pen and getting a 15% discount. Makes a difference. So, writing up next. Hope this was useful so far. And I'll gladly see you later. Bye bye. Okay, so here we go with the Pentel Tradio. Nib, I don't know, something fine, medium, probably more on the fine side. And the ink is what came with it. You know, it's decent. It's uh, the nib is a little feedbacky, but it's really not terrible. I uh, I like that. So it's it's definitely good enough for for the price. I would say. Fast writing. I do think there was one skip there, but also definitely not terrible and as I said I think the ink that came with it is on the dry side as the sort of washable blues can definitely be and that of course doesn't really help either in, in uh, making the pen skip a bit maybe okay line variation 
You can see you can squeeze some out, but the pen also starts to railroad fairly quickly. So you really have to slow down, and even then, it does railroad. Okay, but as I said, maybe a bit of a drying too. Reverse writing, it's possible, but not for long, maybe a letter or two, and then you get nothing. And it's also, well, it's not super scratchy, but it's definitely not as smooth as the correct way around is. So, thanks to De Rose for uh, sending me this pen. We'll give it away. As I said, you know what to do to enter. I hope this was useful, and uh, I'll gladly see you later. Bye-bye. Mel Cockfield. He, he, Hempstead. He, he, Hempstead. 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 Biggest producer of ham in the world. Ham, Hempstead. Uda slot. Hem, Hempstead. Ham.